Hiri hiri! This podcast is brought to you and sponsored by Sunday Cooties. <laughs> Don't believe me? Listen to this! Did you know that Sunday Cool doesn't just make the world's funniest podcast? They also create the world's coolest shirts with super soft water-based ink. And we here pride ourselves on providing a remarkable buying experience, but also being innovative in how we design and print that custom apparel. It's like if Willy Wonka made t-shirts instead of like building chocolate rivers and enslaving Oompa Loompas. So if you want to check out more about what we do here at Ninjas or Butterflies, go to sundaycool.com. Now, back to the episode. <laughs> right, guys? Yeah! <laughs> they get it. They get it. Do I just leave it? Just gonna leave that here. <laughs> All right. What am I looking? Uh, bit Chucky. Yeah. Are you okay? You good? Is Jane good? Hey, Jane. <laughs> you got a little uh, you got a ribble. Little, you got a little food on your... Oh. <laughs> oh, so sweet! I taught her that. This is what I sound like after I eat a cheeseburger. <laughs> oh, that had everything taste over here. <laughs> What's going on? What are you doing? Oh, nuts. Oh, okay. She's on board on me, on board on top in the Ninjas are butterflies. Episode twenty seven. We are here now to. Talk with you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the end of it. <laughs> that was good. That's all right. I liked it. Woo! Wow. Oh, man, you brought it up hot. <laughs> brought I it up hot. I think he's gaining so much confidence because people keep saying, oh, you're such a good singer. I don't know. Maybe I am. <laughs> it, comes and go- it comes and goes. When did that? When did you know that you wanted to do that song this week? The one we just did? Yeah. Uh, Ten minutes ago. <laughs> oh, because do you remember when we heard it this weekend? And we said we can't listen to that song unironically? Oh, yeah. We heard it, yes, uh, Saturday. Yeah. Sunday. Sunday. Because Will Ferrell does such a good job. Yeah. Covering it. Okay, everyone what, be quiet. What question? Oh, yeah. Shh, okay. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, my God. Hush, little baby, don't oh. say a word. Oh. Josh is going to sing you a question. <laughs> Bird. Okay, really be quiet. This is really serious. Okay. Shh. All right. <sighs> Today's question. It's an by a viewer. Is committing arson cool? Mm. Oh. Is committing arson kind of cool? Kind of cool? <sighs> if you have to pit me down, I'm going to say no. No. No? No. All right. no. It's a lot of, it's a terrible thing happens. What about yeah. you? Yeah. I don't want to be. I don't want to be burnt for this response. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't think committing arson is cool. That's just what I think. Well, you just sparked a big debate. Mm. Fire. <laughs> um, Andrew. But, yeah, I think I think you're both right. It's not cool. Yeah. Let's ash, Lily. Oh my gosh, Lily. What do you think? Is committing arson cool? No. Here's a scenario, though. <laughs> like, let's just say. Arson was legal only in some scenarios to where like, hey, we encourage you to go burn down empty houses that have a deadly disease in them. That sounds horrible. What if the disease becomes airborne? No, but the fire will get rid of it. It's been proven that fire will get rid of this disease. Um, But you have to commit arson to do it. I can see where this is going. But that'd be kind of cool like for people to save lives that way. I... I would suppose. <gasps> what? Uh, what? Lily thinks committing me. arson is kind of cool in certain scenarios. Uh, <gasps> Welcome to the show. Oh my gosh. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly in Snowdown. One of God's most beautiful has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninjas! 
you're going to get fired for that. Oh. <laughs> now, let me, let me throw you in a scenario. What if all the popular kids are doing it? That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> so, can I, this is, I'm going to butcher it, but I had a friend in high school, I won't say his name, and there at there was a period of time where someone was setting small fires in the Wakaiva forest, and he lived right near it, and it was him. Oh, the he whole time? Doing, yep. The whole time? He the had, whole time? He admitted to me he was the Wakaiva arson. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Is he going to be? I want to know his name right now. I can't tell you. <laughs> Bobby. What if it was Lily? Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> You're the friend. Oh, man. You Hypothetically, guys- what would you do if a friend told you that they were a serial arsonist? That'd be crazy, right? Yeah, that would it's be definitely crazy. not me. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't do that. <laughs> you know, I don't even know how to like work a lighter whatever or matches. Would, whatever wouldn't be cool with that though. Fire is honestly kind of scary. <laughs> like I rather I would like rather not look at fire. You like know? like if I had to look at a fire, I'd rather wouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather wouldn't. You know. Um, do you say Wakaiva or Wakaiwa? There's two there's separate two. places. There are two separate. What places. are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, Andy right told now. me this. Like last year, Andy's not even Floridian. Yeah, and that's the thing that makes it even sadder for you guys. <laughs> Wakaiwa State Park. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Wakaiwa Springs <clears throat> State Park. Wakaiwa is in Wakaiwa, but Wakaiwa <laughs> is the over overarching umbrella of state park. Then what's Wakaiwa? So, that's sneeze. It's my the uh, actual the circle actually, spring. I'm gonna have to see when here because even Florida State Parks, the actual site right there, Wakaiwa Springs, boom in your face. Hey, Wakaiwa. Sorry, hey, it's all right. Sorry, <laughs> it's all right. Hey, it's all right. No, it's not. No, it's okay. Go get her. <laughs> um. <clears throat> so episode 27, everyone. Hey, welcome. Hey, welcome back. Hey, welcome back to episode 27, everyone. So um, let's, let's let's dive into it. I'm gonna just try da uh, uh, dive wait, right wait, into it. Have you guys heard the bush? Have you guys heard of the Philadelphia experiment? <laughs> The Philadelphia Experiment? Yep. <laughs> no. I'm just going to go into it today. Dive into it, I'm baby. getting into it today. Oh, I, got a, I got a list of stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> list of stuff. You guys ready for this? Don't bum me out. No, it's 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 weird and it's spooky. Don't bring me down, down, down. <laughs> the Philadelphia Experiment in 1943. Have you ever heard of it? Yes or no? No. 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 <laughs> Hit me, baby. Listen to this. So this was the beginning of World World War Two <laughs> against the Nazis and the Japanese. World War. We were at war. The world was at war in it for the second time. <laughs> um so yeah, basically the US Navy ships were getting rocked rocked their socks off in it's the Atlantic hurricane. in the Atlantic Ocean. By the Nazis. Oops. By the, the U-boats. Oopsie daisies. We have bombs and we like to shoot some at you. <laughs> um, it's not our fault. But yeah, so the American government, Navy, whatever, they started looking up different ways to cloak <gasps> their ships, right? Wow. To, so like um, the Nazis would leave in those, you know, remember those bombs? Like it was on like Finding Nemo or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like it looks it like a hang. spiky ball oh, kind yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah. So like Germany was doing that, or the Nazis, I should say. Um, Germany, Germany. And so they did figure out a way to. It was like these electrical cords or whatever, and they would run off a generator in these ships, and it would send out electric pulses to where the boat didn't give off a, a magnetic connection. Yeah. So those bombs would go off because of a magnetic connection or whatever. <coughs> So they figured that out. But then supposedly they're like, well, we want to figure out how to get all the way invisible <laughs> to where they can't even see us. Where'd you go? Not this was like invisibility cloak before Harry Potter Potter was even a thing. <laughs> so, and I'm going to get into it. <laughs> um, they did it, right? Yeah. This, this new technology in the ship. Flipped it on. What? 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 You can't say what, 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 and then wait what, a second. What is the technology that makes it invisible? Don't know. <laughs> and if we did know, we'd use it. Yeah, we'd probably be using it. I bet you it wasn't really. I bet you it was like a sheet. Would you just let me tell the story? <laughs> a big <laughs> sheet. Technically, we technically we wouldn't know if someone was using it. Listen, oh. the ship started to glow. Ready? That's it started to glow, and it said, uh, "Eyewitness report said." 
there was like this green fog that started to surround it. <gasps> disappeared. Guess where it reappeared? <gasps> Japan. No. It Philadelphia. This was, this was in the it, it was happening in the Philadelphia Navy Harbor base, whatever. Yeah. It reappeared in uh the Virginia. What? Right off right off side of uh Virginia, two hundred and fifty miles away. I don't understand. Listen. <laughs> when it this is what the person said. When yeah. it appeared in Virginia, it was actually ten minutes before it disappeared. <gasps> So that, like it went back in time. Back in time. No, it's a magic. Listen, trick. listen. <laughs> and then it disappeared again, <laughs> and then reappeared back in Philadelphia, twenty minutes from from when it sh- from which it first disappeared. Listen. <laughs> oh, in the future. I no, just present time. <laughs> Dang. When it reappeared. Uh, a lot of sailors or on crew on board had died from extreme burning. What? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> and it was reported that some of the crew members, what was the word? Some of the crew members had fused to the boat. Shut up. In a, what are in you a, in a molec- right now? In a le- molecular sense. <gasps> Mole- I don't like even know what the word atoms, means. Their like, atoms, atoms combined. Like combined with the boat. Part of the crew, part of the ship, literally. Yes. How was this not like? How have I never heard about this? Listen, <laughs> you're fool, you're fooling me. I'm right? not. This is a real conspiracy story. No, this is a creepy pasta. <laughs> what are you talking what? about? Yeah, I know what you're saying. It's like kind of a Reddit creepy pasta thing. No, 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 no. Listen, this one guy, his name was Jessup. So <laughs> Jessup, he, yeah, was an, Jessup. he was an author. And he wrote this book that was really popular in the 40s about UFOs. Mm-hmm. He got a letter from a man who went under a, a false name or whatever to like hide his identity. Like Jessup? <laughs> he was a real person. You can yeah. look him up. So be quiet. <laughs> it just sounds like a made up name. It's not. You sound like a made up name. <laughs> We're making Josh so mad. Um, no, you're not. Um, Good. But uh, so he got this letter. Right. <laughs> Opened it, <laughs> and it described everything I just said. But he's like, some of this stuff sounds kind of crazy, right? A little bit. Didn't really do anything with it. Yeah. And then um, a couple months later, the uh, naval officer of whatever showed up at his door. <laughs> Open up. This is a navy off off whatever we are. Yeah. They opened up and they asked, "Do you have you do you know this man?" Um, we've received three copies of your books at the Navy, all describing what took place at the, at the Philadelphia experiment, and we're trying to track this man down. To kill him? And I don't know. I just want to ask you a couple questions. But the man, like, he was doing, like, symbol stuff, like, really wacky stuff. Yeah. And Symbols um, like the monkey? No. Um, like, alien-looking symbols and stuff. Oh. But the guy wrote down like the mathematical equation to it was like the Einstein yeah. theory of relativity or whatever yeah. to where you can theoretically travel back and forth through time and space. Mm-hmm. And um, <clears throat> Mr. Jessup, Arthur Jessup, yeah, um, wrote a couple more books throughout the years. None of them did as good as his first UFO book. And he's like, man, I need a good story. And mm-hmm. he remembered that story from the Crazy Man. Yeah. Decided to start doing research into it and spent like a year or two doing like just heavy, heavy research to where he started going a little crazy Mm -hmm. and like he was finding something out. And so he went to one of his buddies who was also an author, gave him all his evidence he had. He said, hold on to this just in case something happens to me. No, Oh, man. And uh, a week or so, whatever, went by and... Jessup said to the author, like, can you meet here? I found what I need to find to release this book. I have enough evidence. Final piece. And guess what happened to Jessup? He lived happily forever forever after and had a best-selling novel. He never showed up to the meeting. (laughs) No! And they found him dead in his car. Oh. Oh. No mysterious circumstances, I'm sure. It was a hose tied to the exhaust going oh no. leading back into his Golly, car. Holy, that's terrible. That's horrible. That's awful. 
So, so the, what do they do with the information? What did the guy do? Don't know. That's as far That's as I got it. in the video. Okay. <laughs> <Worth it. laughs> and then the vi- this podcast started, so I had to stop. People are going to watch this and be like, that, that part was inaccurate. His name wasn't Jessup. I don't know, man. I just like I looked up a Philadelphia experiment, and that's what I saw, that's and that's creepy. what I repeated in a really well organized way. <laughs> that was really nuts. See, I don't understand. That would be that'd be terrifying. Yeah. First of all, to hear even that story, but I've never heard of it, especially with being something being in America like that. Yeah. That's a crazy. I'm telling you, there's stuff. There's stuff that the 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 government's working on. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want us to know about. Am I Jessup? Right <laughs> yeah, are you Jessup reincarnated? <laughs> In another episode, I want to talk to you about harp. Harp? Yeah. What is harp? I'm not going to tell you right now because I don't have enough information. <laughs> I'm a fan. Of the, I'm a fan of the instrument. Basically, it's weather controlling and all that. Ooh. All that jazz. Yeah, you sent me a picture of clouds last night, and I was like, I don't know what you're getting at. They were weird. It was, it was a weird how, looking crowd. Yeah, even they were. Yeah, it was like I'll show you the like picture of lines. the clouds right here. There were straight lines. I'm always looking at the sky. <laughs> Oh, we're looking for the future. Oh, we're looking for the future. <laughs> hey, you shoot for the stars. Hey, you might just reach them one day. Speaking of the Philadelphia experiment, <gasps> head's coming off. Head's coming off. <laughs> what? what? Head's what? Coming off. I want to talk to you about... <laughs> Decapitation. I saw a guy on TikTok. He had a book about the science of your head getting chopped off. Yeah, let's hear about it. What on earth? Yeah, listen to this. Like the, the guy that like freak- started blinking, the blinking guy? Yes, yes. that was in... He talked about that. Have, Have you heard, heard this, Lil? I don't know. If so I there's this... Know. It was during... It kind of like started this... Um, the scientists um, during the French... French Revolution. French Revolution. <laughs> yeah. French Revolution. He was sentenced to death by guillotine, and he told his assistant, when my head gets... Pick up my head, and I'm going to blink as many seconds no, 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 as no, 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 no. I am conscious to blink. <laughs> he blinked 15 times. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Imagine the guy with just the notepad. One, two, three, four, but one. She's, no, but she's and screaming. I can't, I can't talk. Golly, I got to start over. She's Not. screaming the whole time. Yeah. Horrified. What? <laughs> no. 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 There's, but there's, there's other stories, too, that go with it. That are insane. There's a story where these two, it was like two enemies, basically, were both getting their heads cut off at the same time, and they're thrown in the same, like, bag. Oh, no. And when they took them out, the one dude was biting onto the other dude's Oh, no. And and they couldn't release them. Ugh. Yeah. And then there's another one. Nightmare. Where this one was, that made me sad a little bit, but this lady got her head uh, cut off, and a dude picked up her head and slapped. Her cheek and her face went blush and like she looked like sad like her eyes like went oh my sad. goodness Th- that is terrible it's all that like nerve like uh just reaction it's just like yeah. muscle memory almost there's a couple other ones but That's the creepy. more i'm talking about it the more i yeah, it's, feel it's, uneasy it's, it's very vulgar um but yeah I've, I've heard that one about the guy blinking and i think that's like just a funny idea that like he's like that was like yeah, i'm just gonna do a social experiment as i yeah. leave there's there's no way that's accurate because it's only like because it's only eight seconds to be choked out like if you cut off someone's blood flow like in an mma fight it's eight seconds your brain's still alive though yeah, but you're unconscious at that point. That like, like how are you still is, conscious if there's no blood flow? Think about you may, you're not maybe not conscious, but you still have like your brain still operating. Well, how you your brain is still working. Yeah. There's still like there's still, still muscles moving. But still, you'd have to be conscious. I'm gonna keep blinking. I think they're conscious. As, I don't know. I, I think the dude's it. brain just shorted. How many out. times can you blink in eight seconds? I could blink fifteen times in eight seconds. I thought it was supposed to be a I mean, blink for every that was second. Twenty-seven. <laughs> I thought it was a blink for every second he was conscious. I don't remember the full story, <laughs> but I do think that your brain is still working when you get your head cut off. Oh, yeah. Think about I it. Agree. Chicken can live for two whole weeks. Why can't we live for... What? Yeah, have you not heard eight that? Eight seconds. This dude did what? an experiment where he had a chicken and cut its head off and then force-fed it through the neck hole, and it lived <laughs> for two weeks. That's nuts. Fed yeah. it through the neck hole. Oh the my neck gosh. Hole. I mean, if you're, this has become the weirdest podcast. And that today. guy, <laughs> that guy it's was Ted Bundy. No. <laughs> yeah, you would think, right? If um, someone's brain dead, they could still be like you're like you're getting fed through a tube and stuff. So it's basically the same thing, right? Yeah. In a way, right? Yeah. That's so weird thinking about. I don't like that. I don't like any of what, was, what you what just would, said. What word or what would you say if you had one chance, your gu- guillotine comes down, your head's on the ground, everyone's staring, <laughs> looking at you. What do you say? 
I would say put and pop. <laughs> <laughs> Just because they have to record that. Yeah. They would have to put it down in very serious writing. Or Dick Cheney made more money off of the Iraq yeah. War. Yeah. <laughs> um, speaking of heads. Just like Mondays, am I right? <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> that would, I don't know. Oh. Something dumb like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> wait, so. I, got, I got one. Ready? <laughs> It's up. (laughs) Well, this is no way getting ahead in life. There's like all those, uh, what is that? Awesome powers references. It's like, it keeps going. Why won't you die? (laughs) Um, yeah, I want you to talk about speaking of heads. Your license. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll t- oh, I'll my t- gosh. <laughs> okay. I love this story. So, <laughs> great. Uh, I lost my driver's license recently, and I needed to get a new one. So, uh, all the simple. You have to grab some paperwork, go to the DMV. and But I wanted, as I get older, I don't care. Everyone wants a really nice driver's license photo. I don't care. I want something funny. So, I realized <clears throat> in order to go to get the funny picture, they don't let you do a silly face. So, you have to walk in to the DMV already making the silly face. And I wanted to do like like cross eyed because I just figured that would be easy. But then walking in there, filling out paperwork, I'm like, it's gonna be too much. So I just decided to go with like a look of shock. So basically, <laughs> so basically, this I was just trying to go, <laughs> just constantly like everything. Like I just got the worst news of my life, and I walk in, and it's working great. I I, I sit down, and the girl has no problem at all, and I'm filling out the paperwork, and then she tells me, <laughs> and said, I was assuming it's you're doing this the whole time. I'm doing this the whole time. So she's sitting there, and she tells me uh, that my license has been suspended for the past six months, and I said, <laughs> <laughs> "What? Oh no!" Still, I'm absolutely <laughs> shocked. <laughs> And so, and so she said, and I was like, what, how does that possible? And she says like, well, since we had a car that was out of commission, that was just sitting on our driveway. Cause we, we couldn't afford to fix it. Um, apparently I had to take off the tags and turn them into the County or they don't count it. Cause I took the insurance off of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not driving it. I'm not paying for insurance. I didn't yeah. know that was a thing that you had to take the license. Into I didn't know the that county. either. And so I'm sitting there and my license has been apparently been suspended. All I have to do is call this, like the state and, figure it out and have to pay like 160 bucks, but I couldn't do it that day. <laughs> so the whole time she's explained the scenario, what do I have to do? And I'm filling out paperwork. And I'm just <laughs> for 20 minutes. Just <laughs> and then I'm actually mad because I'm like, this is so, I'm like, why do I have to do this? All this thing. And so I'm just having to just go ahead with the bit or I'm, oh, a, or I'm a fraud. If I like yeah, let go at that point, you're like, I don't want you to think I've been tricking you this whole time. Yeah, exactly. I yeah, I don't wanna... <laughs> and so, uh, later, a couple weeks later, when I finally get around to going back to the DMV, I decided, which I have to go get my wallet real quick, but, um, we'll show a picture of your ID. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what'd so you do? I, I walked well, just in the, just the picture part. Yeah. I walked in. I was like, Oh, I have to redo it. And so I said, please let everything be fine. And so I walked in just, <laughs> She probably remembered you. Yeah. And then she uh, she tells me to go around, sit in the chair, and she's away. She says, take off my hat. So I took off my hat, and I just looked straight forward. And then she says, smile. And I said, <laughs> and, it, it, and we'll show you the picture. And it looks absolutely terrifying. It looks like it a mugshot of, like, <laughs> uh, like, I don't even know. Yeah, Someone don't. that you don't want to <laughs> come in contact with. Yeah, no, you do not want to meet this guy in a dark alley or babysit your kids or even invite him over for dinner. It's Literally, bad news. <laughs> when you get pulled over and they pull up your license, they're going to be like, this guy has something. <laughs> he has to have something. Yeah, get him, boys! <laughs> I, I want to get a... Uh, we should do t-shirts for my next year's for my birthday or something like oh, that. Yeah. Like mug shots. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah, so that was my story. It's and so uh, funny. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I tried the- to do that too, but I just like, I went in there normal and for the picture, uh, not this past license, but the license before, um, I did, I did like one of those things. I went like, <laughs> like that. And he's like, what are you doing? It's like, smile. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And it was lame. I came back and she's like, you didn't want to smile. And I said, no. And she's like, oh, I just saw your picture last time. And it was just like a normal, just. <laughs> and then, then, then it just, I was like, what happened in the past three years? She's terribly thinking it's like, it's like he, he's a hundred percent. So he's much, off the rails. So much pressure on those like there pictures. Is. You should have said pandemic, pandemic. Am I right? Yeah. You get it. <laughs> they um, made me take my picture seven months pregnant. Oh, <laughs> Oh, with Ada. Gosh, with Ada. And I got big with Ada. Yeah. The you, fir- you're beautiful. Watch it. I was Why'd saying. You hesitate. Yeah, no, I was, he said, yeah. Oh, because I started saying, yeah. I'm like, what am I saying? What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> you were beautiful. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. So, um, but this is crazy. Like I wanted to talk about speaking of your license plate and heads yeah. coming off. Yeah. I think we should cut to an ad. No way. Really? <laughs> yeah, I really do. I really do. Hey, Jane. Don't go anywhere. Hitty hitty. Welcome to this ad on the, I don't know when this. The 3rd of March. Oh. <laughs> the king has an announce. Uh, oh. <laughs> the, king, the king has an announcement. Am Ooh. I the king? Yeah, and you're the prince. Oh, okay. The king can't make it. Oh, okay. So, All right. prince. What does the king say? <laughs> yes, the king wants uh, the king wanted me to let you all know that Clearstream.io is now offering ten percent off to all ninjas or butterflies listeners. Yay! <laughs> Clearstream is the greatest texting software for all churches and kingdoms on this fine planet. Hooray! They've never made it easier to communicate with a congregation or your uh, event or people. It's absolutely fantastic. And you get 10% off if you go to clearstream.io forward slash ninjas. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip. Hooray. All for this head. <gasps> it's me, the king. <laughs> He's back. I'm back. Oh, no. <laughs> What, Andy? What's happening? Why am I? How did I get on the couch, Josh? You're getting kind of cute, Andy. <laughs> Wait, what happened? You don't like me anymore, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Do you guys remember that ad, dude? The best ad I think I've ever heard. I think so too. Um, I'm gonna have to try to be a babysitter as well. Um, so. Couple, babysitter, what, a parent. No, yeah. I was gonna say someone say father. Okay, easy, easy, <laughs> easy. Yeah. Um, how many episodes was it ago? Two or three? Where Lily did the um. Oh yeah, two or three. Yeah, I can't remember. Lily said, "If I've you guys didn't watch times. it or listen to it, she said I could taste any water and tell you what it is." And so what we had for her today is seven seven different several different seven types of water we have seven 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 seven, seven, seven different types of water what are they don't, you're gonna don't have read to, them in order um I, at least give me a key of what is involved okay i'll tell you what i get there's there's say. gonna be one one mystery water ew <laughs> it's not it's not it's not gonna be is it a brand it is a mystery. Okay, it's something we had in the fridge. All right, we're gonna have so it's, we have the, like the, one that, the prediction, the your, prediction, the production fridge. When the one Kelsey goes and refills. Okay, we have a Dasani, mm -hmm. an Evian, 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 Evian. That's a bougie. We have a Liquid Death. Nice. We have a Fiji. Mm -hmm. We have a Dasani. Okay. We have a Zephyr Hills. Yes. We have tap water. Ew! <laughs> I don't want to drink the tap water. And then the production water. The water that is in the production fridge. It's like yeah. the, the, That's a the cheap, the cheap, like uh, whatever ones you get by the case. It's like Nestle Kelsey. or something, right? Yeah. Or is it something, like... Also, like I love that. that you were like, okay, nice. Like like you didn't shop for all of these waters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. I, liquid death. Oh, okay, nice. Okay. <laughs> Got yes, it. I, I bought them all. Can they see the waters on the video? No. That's uh, all right. Barely. I mean, you can see, yeah. Okay. All right. We want you to start from one through seven. I can't go like. Mm, 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 and no, you got to. But <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But you got to tell us your first guesses and like oh. kind of make it almost kind of rank them. Do you need a pen or something to rank yeah, them? Yeah, I do. I need. Like to write down or something. I can do it on my phone. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Write down next to the number on the top of the box. Watch me eat my words. Yeah. Let me do this. One, two, three. Or what are the rules, though, too? Like, am I allowed to change answers? Sure. At the very end. Yeah, but give There's your... seven. Oh, yeah. Now, I want to do this later on with, like, maybe... F I could do this probably with fast food fries. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could do it with burgers. Someone will have to feed it What to drinks, you. though? Could you do, could you do like, dark colas, like Pepsi, Coke, Dr. I think, Pepper? I think so, yeah. I think so. I'd be down for that one. All right. We could do that easily with like little shot glasses or something, like little tiny, like little tasters. We could yeah. do that. I could do the fried rice, all the Chinese restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
All right, here we go. Number one. Number one. Number one. And yeah, let us know how, what you're tasting, what you really like. And she's using a paper straw, which kind of sucks, but what are you thinking? You're going to have to go a little faster, probably, I think. All right. Or talk to us. Talk to us out. Yeah. What are you thinking? Because a lot of people are know, listening. I it kind of gross, but I don't know if it's a paper. It's probably the paper straw that you bought. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm going to say Evian. 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 Write, it Write it down. Okay. Evian number one. Tastes kind of gross. Yeah, I mean, they all kind of taste kind of papery. Oh no, I made a mistake with the. You sure did. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if we have regular straw. We can maybe grab a regular straw from the kitchen. Or can I blindfold me and I'll drink it out of the cup? Ooh, I don't know. We can't do that. Oh, we good. can't do that. <laughs> okay. Because it's labeled on the cup. That tastes good. Number I think two. That's liquid death. Okay. Liquid death. Okay. Don't look over here. Liquid death. For number two. Slaps. Okay. Number three. Liquid death is very, very good. <laughs> that was hard on the throat. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That, is that the production water? Production water? Okay. I'm making notes on my own. Number four. Or maybe that third one was Dasani. You can change answers. Oh, that's good. <laughs> is that liquid death? I don't know. Right Zephyr at, Hills. Zephyr Hills number four. You change it number three to Dasani? I don't know yet. Let me keep going. How am I doing so far? You're not doing great. <laughs> you're you're four for four. Just kidding. No, I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> that that was Fiji. Fiji? Number five, you said Fiji? Okay. Uh, number five, Fiji. Hey, click your phone off. Oh, that's the tap water. Oh my gosh, that was tap water. Number six. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gnarly. <laughs> what was that? What do you have, Willie? <laughs> <laughs> what? What was number I seven? Don't... You got that one right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so good. That's the that's that, that's real. How'd I do? Okay, so those we'll, are your final we'll, guesses. We'll give you. We'll no, give no, you. No. We didn't have a production water. The production water was pickle juice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, so you have tap water on top of the um, options that you bought. So. Okay, so I'm going. All right, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with Evian. Okay. It's gross. <laughs> um, Number two is gross. Which I had said it was liquid death originally. Yeah. I'm changing that. Mm, Fiji. Okay. And then three, I'm gonna call Dasani. Okay. Four. That might be liquid death. Okay. Last two. Zephyr Hills. Okay. Okay. And that was tap water. I'm not drinking it again. All right. You got, well, with the pickle juice, four out of the seven. <laughs> that is crazy. Good. I mean. You changed your mind on Dasani, which uh, uh -huh. which was right. Yeah. So number one was Fiji. All right. Number two was Liquid Death, which was your original. Dang. Number three was Dasani. Number four was Evian. 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 Number five was Zephyr Hills. Number six was Tap Water. Number seven was Pickle Juice. So not Good bad. Job. Hey, you I, did, really, I was, did all right. You did more than half. We'll do this again on another episode later down the road, and I'll show you how I can get all of them right. Watch it. <laughs> all you of could them? not. You yeah. could not. Yeah, I could. All right. I can't believe you guys did that to me with the pickle juice vom. That was really good. Vom. We could have done it at the very beginning, and that would have sucked. Yeah. <laughs> it would have ruined you. <laughs> Absolutely would have ruined you. Okay, I don't let's, know why. Oh. I don't know why I wasn't expecting you guys to do something like that. Of course you would. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course you would. Who do you who do you think we are? <laughs> All right, let's switch back. Yeah, watch this, this watch weird. this movie magic. Ready? A uh, boom! Oh. Wow. wow! That was crazy. 
Did how, how did that happen? I magic. <laughs> I already did that joke. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? You're not my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so cute though, right? Um, yes. Thanks to some people. Sure. Oh man. Comment if I'm cute. <laughs> so Lily, four out of seven. I think that's pretty all right. Yeah. Wait, are you rating her as a person? <gasps> no. How dare you? Oh, I just you just said Lily. How Four dare you, seven. sir? No. Okay, Rex. I just thought that's what you were going with. She's at least a five. Okay. Just kidding. You're a 10 out of 10. Wow. Well, five out of seven would be good in some standards. <laughs> but you're five. a 10 out of 10. I'm a seven out of seven. You're a smoking babe and I love you. Hey, sweet cheeks. <laughs> Hubba, hubba. <laughs> I'm just imagining the Looney Tunes wolf. Yeah. The wow. So the mask whenever he sees Cameron yeah. Diaz for the first time. <laughs> oh, Jane, be quiet. Oh, no. Just kidding. Jane, you make as much noise as you want. Don't worry about it. Um, all the moms that listen to this podcast are being triggered right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Did you guys hear that China found dinosaurs? No. Yeah. What do you mean they found dinosaurs? I don't know how credible this source <laughs> is. <laughs> what do you mean? Like they actually found the story is a funny. real dinosaur? Dinosaur? Dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. We'll go to the dinosaur. Bound and now. That's actually dinosaur. a really good name for her. Dinos- yeah. Dinosaur store. Yeah. Um, this is where the story com- comes from. There's this lady on TikTok. And she was at a nail salon getting her nails done. Uh And this is the only source (laughs) that I could find. Um, She said uh, all the nail techs or whatever were doing everyone's nails. And they had their TV on at the salon. And it was a Chinese news. And she said they said something. And literally every person stopped that was doing the nails. And they all looked at the TV. And she's like, what are they talking about? So she flipped on her Google Translate. And what it read from the news thing was that China has discovered new lands, uncharted lands that no one has ever stepped foot on. And it contains, it has dinosaurs on it. And in fact, two, un, uh, two species of dinosaurs we didn't even know about. And she asked the lady who was doing her nails. She's like, is this what? And she flipped around. Is this what he said? And she's like, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? And I'm like, how is this not news everywhere? How is that not worldwide news? So, um. What's the type of dinosaur? Do they know? T Rex. Stegosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't listen to a lot of it. Yeah. Um, How's their land? We just don't. That's know what about. I'm wondering. Yeah. But it's making all the flat earthers go wild. Like, right? <laughs> we told you. <laughs> There's land beyond land. Josh was, we show each other like TikToks every night. That's like how we date each other in this season of early parenthood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he was showing me one. And, no, he was showing me TikToks and he skipped over one. I said, what are you skipping that for? And so he was like, I am i don't know. I don't know if I want to show you. He showed me, it was a pilot saying that he believes in the flat earth and all the pilots what? do. It was weird. <laughs> that he most said, pilots do. He is was, that a pilot? Was, uh, is that guy a pilot anymore? <laughs> Maybe. Is he? He walked, this guy walks up to him. He's like, hey, can I speak to the pilot? This is like maybe when they land or something. He's like, yeah, he's right here. And he's standing at the cockpit entrance, you know? And he's like, um, how long have you been flying? He said, for Delta, 20 years, but altogether about 30, 31 years. Yeah. He said, okay. He said, do you believe the earth is flat? And he's like, absolutely. And he's like. <laughs> what? He said, I know the earth is flat. Oh, yeah. He says, I know the earth is flat. And he's like, do, <laughs> has anyone ever questioned you on that? He said, just one person. <laughs> What? And that was the end of the video. And he's the guy flying our planes? Expound, please. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Have a nice day. Thanks for flying with us. Earth isn't flat. Or well, is it? is it though? No. Is not. she gassy? I think she's tired. Gassy um, girl. We can wrap up here in just a second. Um, this is the last thing I want to talk about that I wrote down. I wrote down quite a bit. So not the last thing I wrote down. Last thing I want to talk about that yeah. I wrote down. <sighs> <laughs> the fallen angel statue discovered in Russia. What? The fallen. Oh, you this is the creepiest me. thing I've seen in a good minute. There's these dudes, Russian dudes in Serbia. Was it Siberia? Don't don't look Sa- at me. Serbia is a different place. I, I think it was Siberia. Don't Siberia. That's in Russia. It is. Um, they were they work in a um. 
what did I say? It was gravel or um, oh, some sort of quarry. I think it was like gravel quarry or something, right? And they were just digging, and they found this ginormous statue of this crazy, evil-looking angel with its, like, hood down, but, Ooh. like, its eyes and its these giant wingspan things, and it's, like, holding a shield, and it was kneeling. And these dudes standing up beside this statue, um, their heads didn't even go past the the statue's head, and it was kneeling down. Ooh. And it looks, the detail on it is, like, exquisite. Like, it looks like a angel or man thing. Oh, wow. That was like frozen in time, like it like fell in a concrete bath or something. And so what does that mean? Sounds like the start of <laughs> a know. scary movie. They're gonna go put it in a lab and they're gonna soak it in like acid or something. Are, that's a scary no Yeah, that's creepy. There's have you heard of the terracotta army? Yeah. Yeah. In yeah, China? That, yeah, Dude, yeah. <gasps> that is crazy. I wanted to talk about that a long time ago. Dude. Because it's nuts. it was when Alex was on and he mentioned something with Mercury. Yeah. Mercury. I, I, I never know. Mercury. Mercury. Yeah. Mercury. Mercury. <clears throat> like February. <laughs> February. Mer- Mer- Mercury. Mercury. But that army yeah. that you what did you call them? Terracotta. Terracotta. Like the pot. Yep. Um the tomb in which that, that king is that they're guarding. Yeah. They haven't opened it yet because it's written down that his throne or his uh tomb or whatever is surrounded by a giant lake of mercury (laughs) so it's protected it's like protected and like they're like afraid to like unseal it because of the exposure of it i don't know anything about the guy that that was buried but that is a crazy because it's over eight thousand statues crazy 130 chariots with 520 horses it's nuts and it's literally all made, handmade, and they're signed by the person who designed them. It's crazy. Yeah. And it's like that's it's just a it's just a burial site. That's all yeah. it is. Yeah, who is this guy? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do more research into it. But it's it not kinda creep- sad that we don't creepy. know his name. Yeah. And he put all this effort into we just we'll Google Or they it. or they did it for him. Like they yeah. like as a tribute or honor. I don't know. This well, like, know, it's crazy. Like what I saw, they wrote or they wrote down that his resting place, he wanted to make it look like his house was like overlooking the ocean and so that's why the holy smokes let me hear it jane (laughs) um but yeah crazy stuff yeah i want to be buried i want to find out what i'm going to be buried with i want to decide what kind of statues i want to be buried with uh like a burger statue yeah just like a bunch of chicken wings standing up on legs (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) surrounded by eight thousand burger statues (laughs) <laughs> and you're, you're, you're finally you're, resting in peace. The lake around you is just Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's just Chick Fil A sauce. <laughs> he looks so peaceful. Oh man, episode twenty-seven. That was a little chaotic. It was crazy. I think I talked stories, probably ninety percent of the time, and I apologize. Hey, we love hearing it. But I have a lot of energy today. That's good. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Um, is there anything else you guys want to talk about? I want to talk. Yeah, go for it. Just one more time. I know we like talked about it a lot, but. We have officially started using the fly by cow. Oh line. yeah, tell yeah, tallow, and I'm obsessed. Do you I like it, too. dude. Obsessed. The texture is really neat. Yeah. The fly by cow. We did it on the last episode, right? Is a flying cow. Flying cow. Not fly we're by. We're not doing fly by jing. Fly by jing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a flying cow. Tallow. Flying cow. Yeah. Flying cow. Um, these guys. I don't know if you can see it with the reflection thing. Their stuff's awesome. Their skincare products. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. And my dog it. likes licking my face too. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's great. Thank you guys for sending that again. Now your turn. It was Andy. beautiful. No, I I don't know. I was I was just gonna see how you guys were up. What you guys were up to? What you guys been watching? Guys, this has been really fun. But this is our last episode ever. Ever. <gasps> this is uh, and this is how we're gonna dump. <laughs> Can you imagine people? Would be so, people would be so mad. Yeah, we should have played that on a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for listening to our stuff. I just discovered today through Andy. That people have been commenting on our Spotify. I didn't know you could do that. I keep asking you, can people comment on Spotify? You say no. I yeah, that's it's what like I a, thought. I, I think it looks like one of those like prompts, like hey, how would you? It think says of this like episode? what? Yeah, what do you think of this episode? And then people, I'm I'm reading all of your comments now, and they're awesome. Oh, yeah. and nice they make voice. me happy. One person, oh, I took a screenshot of it, but I forgot to post it. Um, he said, 
I listen to your podcast, but I only speak Spanish, so I don't really understand anything, but it's still really funny. <laughs> Ninjas or butterflies. We're even funny in languages that you don't even understand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so... No, re- no excuses so cool. to not listen to us, guys. Yeah, yeah. seriously. I can't understand. I don't speak that language. Get over well, it. Neither could that man exactly. or woman, child. And apparently we gave someone sight, the gift of sight. Yeah, someone said, I haven't been able to see for 20 years, <laughs> and now I can see because of this podcast. What? You're welcome. And we said, well, that was probably Jesus. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> thanks. We'll take credit. Nope. No? No. 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 Okay. We'll right. just say. It was because of us. No. What? That's. No. Okay. We helped. Maybe. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, make sure to like and review our stuff on YouTube, which is Sunday Cool. Um, Spotify. Spotify. Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. Apple. Podcast. Apple. Apple Podcasts. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram, Ninjas of Butterflies. TikTok, Ninjas of Butterflies. Spam us, baby. Spam us. Comment every Comment on every video. Something and, nice. Something nice. Defend and then, Lily. And then something mean. No, and then something no not, not about us. Not about us, though. Yeah. yeah something something about mean like, about something, I don't know, like. Like terrorism. Yeah. yeah. Or say Hitler was stupid. <laughs> They're just going to, all videos are going to be flagged because all of our comments are about <laughs> Hitler. It's like, no. No way. Oh, but seriously, we love you guys. We do. And I love you. That wraps up episode 27. And Goodbye. <laughs> Jane, Bye, Jane. Let's go get you a nap, girl. Oh, yeah. All right. Love you. Bye. 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 Oh, <laughs> Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful. Has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninjas. <laughs>